mess up another relationship. I gotta get out. I can't allow it to cost me another job. I gotta get out. I can't allow this thing to keep me treat my children this way. I gotta get out. I can't allow this thing to keep me angry and bitter. I gotta get out. So I'm gonna release it right here today. I'm gonna get it out of my spirit, get it out of my mouth. I'm gonna forgive whoever it is that violated me, but I got to move on. My destiny is before me right now. I want you to open your mouth and speak up under your breath and release whatever it is you carry. Release whoever you are carrying. Some of y'all got more people in the bed with you that you can't enjoy the place through there. You got the last relationship and the one before that and the one after that. You can't even enjoy the place you're laying down with. Release it right now in the name of Jesus. I come against that spirit in the name of Jesus. I speak release on your life right now in Jesus' name. I declare that you're going to be free from that torment in the name of Jesus. It's a lying spirit. I need just a few more minutes because I want you to leave it here. All the violations, all the hurt feelings, leave it right here. Don't take it to the next level. When you walk on this building, you go into another dimension. Don't take that stuff with you. Open your mouth. I forgive my uncle. I forgive the preacher. I forgive my ex. I forgive my mama. I forgive my daddy. I forgive my principal. You gotta get it out of you right now. Get it off of you. I'm telling you, release it and go away. Hallelujah. If you need to go away, this is your dumping ground. Come out of it right now. Make up your mind. I'm coming out. I can't stay here no more, Gordon. I don't want to be heavy anymore. I don't want to live all night looking at the ceiling anymore. I'm coming out. One morning, Shaya. If one person gets this, I would have done my assignment today. I want you to make up your mind. Faith, show ya mama sanda baba I want you to release it. I want you to release those secrets. Can I talk to somebody? I want you to release those secrets, those things that's tormenting you, that you think nobody knows about. Here's your opportunity to not take them home with you. Release the pain that you were carrying around, that you're afraid to share with somebody else. Release the old shaya, those secrets that you have, those secret violations. There's an opportunity to let it go right now in the name of Jesus. You can leave it right here so you can be free to move and free to prosper and free to move forward and free to shaya, 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 and free to go shaya, shaya, shaya. On this side over here, because I don't think they got it. Y'all got that? You have these feelings, but your destiny is never attached to people who leave you. Amen. You can't walk forward looking backwards. They went out from us, but they were not of us. Because had they been out of, of us, no doubt they would continue with us. But they went out from us that it might be made manifest. When people leave you, it's their time to go. And you got to be bold enough to accept, okay, I'm glad what they did. They paid the bills. They were good. They made me feel good. But now they're gone. Somebody else coming. Amen. So I got to put my focus forward. I feel this. I got to put my focus forward. Destiny is never tied to what's behind me. 
I cannot walk back forward looking backwards like this. I'm going to run over what I'm supposed to grab because I'm not focused. Somebody help me, please. Look at them and say, let it go. Let it go. See, you all ain't doing it. You always say, look at somebody in faith. They need to see and say, let it go. You've been carrying that junk with you too long. They gone now. That's over with now. You need to prepare yourself for the next level. You need to begin to shout about who's coming. The next job. The next business. The next opportunity. Shout about that. Yes, God. Amen. Everybody clap your hands and give God praise this morning, please. If you enjoyed this morning, clap your hands and give God praise. If God bless you this morning, clap your hands and give him praise. Before we go into our time of giving, I want to give opportunity because I have to do this. Bring the music down. Shayama. If this word bless you this morning, say amen. Amen. I'm sure for most of you it's something you've never heard before. But that's what we do here. If you're in here and you've never received Christ, all salvation does is bring you out of sin. Did y'all get that in the message? So if you've never received Christ, if sin is still an issue for you, I want to fix that for you because it means you don't believe. So if you're not saved, I just want you to lift your hands. You don't got to come up. You never received Christ. I got the young man back there. Marcelino, I think his name is, right? Yeah. See, I'm good. Just came here. We're going to get him acquainted with Christ today. Because when he makes his confession, everything is going to be behind him. Somebody say amen. Oh, you all understand that. See, after this, nothing counts against him. Because when he makes his confession, he becomes faultless before the presence of God. So if you're in here, man, come on. If you need to reconnect, you're in here. You've been saved. You don't want to join a church. You don't want to join this church. But you've been on the church for a while. And you say, you know what, preacher? I heard you, man. I was worried about that. I have some concern. If you just want to be connected to, that, to this rest place, just let me see your hands. Just lift your hands. You just want to be connected. You ain't trying to say, I want to join nobody church. You ain't trying to do none of that. But you've been away from God and you made a decision that I want to be back in. I'm in Christ, but I want to be back connected. If that's you, raise your hands for me, please. Hallelujah. So we got a lot of saved, sanctified folk. Let me help me to get Marcelino to Christ, amen? All of us can to get Marcelino. You just say this with me. You know, this is not complicated. Just say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sin. I receive you as my Savior. And today I receive salvation in your name. His name just got written in the Lamb Book of Life. Somebody give God praise for him right now. It don't have to be no weird up and all that kind of stuff. It's a confession that he just made, and I know that he's saved. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands one more time for Jesus, amen. You may be seated.